In this video, you are going to see how to connect the DJI Osmo Mobile SE gimbal to a mobile phone, followed by the app features and also the controls of this gimbal. So let's start first with how to connect this gimbal to the mobile. This gimbal connects to the mobile phone via Bluetooth. Turn on the Bluetooth on your mobile and turn on the gimbal as well. Open the DJI Mimo app and connect the gimbal like this. If in case you don't know how to install the DJI Mimo app on your mobile, I already did a video regarding this. Check out the link in the description box. This app is supported for both iOS and Android mobiles. After connecting the gimbal to your mobile, this is what the camera interface looks like. Now let's see the app settings and features you will get. In the app, it shows the gimbal battery status as well as your mobile battery status. You can change to different modes by selecting on the bottom side. There are extra features that you won't find in your mobile camera app. The first one is dynamic zoom effect. This feature is good for zooming in or zooming out your entire video by making the subject still in a respected frame. The remaining options are self-explanatory which is quite simple as your camera default app. In video mode, only the 30 FPS option is showing, even though my mobile is supported for 60 FPS. I don't know why it is like that. If you attach the mobile incorrectly to the gimbal, then you need to do one thing, it's calibration. To do this, click the three dots, then select the gimbal option. Here, select the gimbal auto calibration and click start. Before selecting this option, make sure you place the gimbal on flat surfaces without any deviations like flat table or dining table, bench, etc. If in case any deviations are there, then the calibration is not going to be perfect. Sometimes even after doing this, it's not going to be perfect. At that time, you need to select the horizontal gimbal adjustment option and change the angle that you want. In gimbal options, you can change the zoom speed, button action, joystick control, joystick speed, etc. These options need to be changed according to the environment in which you are using the gimbal. If you are shooting fast moving objects, then you need fast actions of the gimbal. Also, you get face tracking and object tracking in this gimbal. This one works so smoothly if you move a little bit. But if you move fast, it loses the tracking. If you come to frame again, it won't be considered. Also, if you change the direction of the object, it loses the tracking. This is a big problem in this one. The face tracking option is also available for the front camera. I'm so much impressed with this one. Even you can track with the help of back camera also. But one person is needed to hold the gimbal and record it. If you record videos by your phone, then this option is very useful for you. You access the files and videos from here that you recorded in this application. These are saved in DJI Album. You can access these photos and videos in your default camera app also. If in case you uninstall the DJI Mimo app, these won't be erased. It's a good thing. Alright, now we see how to control the gimbal and the buttons and everything. To turn on or off the gimbal, press and hold this M button for 2 seconds. Below this red color button is there, it is for start or stop the video recording. Also it works as a shutter button while clicking the photos. Below this, one more button is there. It is useful for two things. Number one is if you single press this button, it shifts the camera from back to front or front to back. Number two is if you double press it, it changes the orientation from horizontal to vertical or vertical to horizontal. The next button is this joystick one. With this, you can move left or right or top or bottom. You can rotate your mobile also, but it is in a different mode. Currently, we are in follow mode. 
To change the modes, press the M button once. You see the icon is changed here and also in the mobile it shows which mode we are currently in. The second option is a tilt logged mode. The third mode is FPV mode. In this mode you can move your gimbal in any direction even in diagonally also. And finally the fourth mode is the spin shot mode. In this mode you can rotate your mobile like this. Here side to M button it shows the battery indication as well as whether the gimbal is connected to the device or not via Bluetooth. If it is connected to the Bluetooth device it shows a green light like this. If it is disconnected it shows some yellowish light. When it comes to the battery indication green means it's fully charged, red is for battery very low percent and yellow is for like half of the battery. I'm thinking instead of this if they are given the dotted lines it is so useful. Backside one button is given also called the trigger button. This button is useful to go back to the initial stage no matter what which mode you are in. For example now I moved my mobile like this. If I double press the trigger button it moves to the its initial position. If you single press the trigger button, it activates the tracking. But make sure the subject is in focus. Sometimes if you have multiple objects in the frame, it struggles to track the object. On the time, in the mobile screen, you just drag like this to focus the subject for tracking. If it is in tracking mode, even though you press it twice, it won't come back to its initial point. Make sure to turn off the tracking, then it works. I'm telling about the backside button. On the left side, one slider type button is there, which is useful to zoom in or zoom out while taking the photos or recording videos. You can control the zooming speed in the app settings. On the right side, a Type-C slot is given to charge this gimbal. Even while using this gimbal, you can charge it. There is no problem at all. This slot is only supported for charging and there is no reverse charging support, meaning you cannot charge your mobile. I tried with the help of a Type-A to Type-C converter, but it didn't work. Also, there is no percentage indicator for the battery of the gimbal. Only it will show if the battery is low that too like a notification like this. So these are the options, settings and the app interface of the DJI Osmo Mobile SC gimbal. If you want to know more details about this gimbal, whether it is good or bad, check out the full video link in the description box or else at the final part of the video. I shared some of the videos and photos taken with the help of this gimbal as well as the battery backup, the charging time and some more things in that video. If you think this video is helpful, just drop a like and also subscribe to this channel for more tech related videos. Thank you so much in advance for your support. See you again in another video. Until then, watch these videos related to gimbals.